spring, time for fun and car shows. No, not anemic underpowered economy cars. Not overpriced exotics either. Now that's more like it. Yes, I'm talking good old American iron with enough power to rip up asphalt. The muscle car era effectively lasted only from 1964 to 1971. In that short time, we came to know and love such names as Charger, Camaro, and Mustang. The problem for many people is, how do you tell the years apart? Take the Dodge Charger. No, not that overpowered grocery getter you see nowadays. No, not the rolling door stop from the 66 and 67 model years either. Yes, I'm talking about that iconic Charger body style from the classic movie Bullet. The second gen Charger only ran from 1968 to 1970. One point before we go any further. All the ways I will use to show different years applies only to stock, unmodified examples. The key to telling the Chargers apart lies with the front end. For 1968 model year cars, the federal government mandated side marker lights. Dodge and Plymouth complied by punching round holes in front and rear fenders and sticking in simple dot lights. This makes identification of the 1968s easy, even if you can't tell a Cornet from a Charger or a Valiant from a Dart. If there's a dot, it's a 68. All of them. Too easy. For 1969, Charger switched to a rectangular side marker light and a split grill. Finally, in 1970, the Charger got an oval front bumper. What about a GM example? Let's look at the first gen Camaro that ran from 1967 to 1969. How do you tell them apart? Remember the side marker light rule? It applies here too. The 1967 does not have the lights. The 1968 does. Then there is a slight change to the fenders for 1969. Notice the body lines running back from the wheel wells. If you see that line, it's a 69. This also applies to the Pontiac Firebird as well. Finally, let's look at that all-American classic, the Mustang, the first pony car. One big point to clear up about the first year model. There is no such thing as a 1964.5 Mustang. First year Mustang VIN numbers, titles, and registration all were 1965. Period. Now that we've cleared that up, let's get back on track. This one is so easy you'll be kicking yourself for not noticing sooner. See the difference? As a cost-saving move, Ford based the first-gen Mustang on the Ford Falcon to include the horizontal bar speedometer. That's the dead giveaway. In 1966, Ford gave the Mustang its own gauge cluster that was unique to the pony car. If you see a bar speedo, no, not the swimsuit, the gauge for telling how fast you're going. Anyway, if you see the bar type, it's a 65. If you see a round pod, it's a 66. That wraps it up for now. If you have questions or suggestions for other makes and models, drop me a comment. Now hit those car shows and enjoy yourselves. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? <laughs>